goes here goes my best attempt at being uh, an orc from Warhammer. <laughs> oh my! Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Yes, please. Okay. And I said, stop playing, uh, filming the, st the stream. If you're a prep, then do not read it. You can tell whether you're a prep or not by my quiz. It's on my home page, on patch. If you're not, then you rock. If you're not, then fuck oof. This is Willow isn't really rally a prep. Raven fools do this ill promise to give you back her poster. <clears throat> Tom Riddle gave us some clothes and stuff for free. He said he would help us with makeup if we wanted because he was really into fashion and stuff. He was sexual. <laughs> he kept shooting at us to come back to Hogwarts. WTF, Hagrid, I shouted angrily. Fuck off, you jockey bastard. Well, anyway, Willow came. Hagrid went way angry. Really? Hey, bitch, you look kawaii, she said. Yeah, but not as kawaii as you. I answered sadly, because Willow's pretty, really pretty and everything. She was wearing a short black corset thingy with blue red lace on it and a black blood red miniskirt, leather fishnets, and black pointy boots that showed off how pale she really was. She had a really nice party with big bobs and everything. She was thin enough to be anorexic. So are you going to the concert with Draco? She asked. Yeah, I said happily. I'm going with Diabolo. She answered happily. Well, anyway, Draco and Diabolo came. They were both looking extremely hot and sexy, and you could tell they, they thought we were up too. Diabolo was wearing a black t-shirt that said 666 on it. He was wearing tons of makeup, just like Mar Marilyn Manson. Draco was wearing black leather pants, a gothic black CG shirt, t-shirt, and black bands he got from the War Tower. B. Luddy Mart was going to the concert with Dracula. Dracula used to be called... <laughs> 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 used to be called Naval, but it turned out that he was kidnapped at birth and his real family were vampires. They died in a car crash. Naval converted to Satanism and we went and he went golf. He was in Slytherin now. He was wearing a black rip t-shirt, black jeans and shoes and black hair with red streaks in it. We call him Dracula now. Well, anyway, we all went to Draco's Black Mercy Benz, get it? <laughs> and his and his dad Lucian gave did pot coke crick. Draco and I made out. We made fun of those stupid fucking prats. We soon got there. I guess. Gerard was the sexiest guy ever. He did in the pics. He had long, waving black hair and piercing blue eyes. He was really skinny and had an amazing ethnic voice. We must do Elena and some other songs. So suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the other members. I guess it wasn't Gerard at all. It was an ugly, preppy man with no nose and red eyes. Everyone ran away but me and Draco. Draco and I came. It was Vladimir and the Death Dealers. You moronic idiot, you stupid angstily. N.O.B., I told you to kill Vampire, so I failed. And now I shall kill Baron Draco. No, no, please, we begged sadly, but he took out his knife. Suddenly, a gothic old man flew in on his broomstick. He had long black hair and a long black beard. He was wearing a black robe that said Avril Lavigne on the back. He shot at a spell and blood and bolt went away. It was Dumbly Door. Dun dun dun. dun, 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 dun. Okay. Chapter 18. Arthur's what? note. I said scoop flubbing. If, wait. Are we going in the right order or did we skip someone? Um, The next person after life. 
Then Billy, the only person that got added is Moon, and he's just been added to the end. Okay. Go! Arthur's note. I said stupid flaming if you then, you are fucking crap. Thanks to Raven for the help in Stoof. You rock. And you're not, not a prep. Thanks for my sweetheart. P.S. That Oda Eson Dumbledore Swa is cause he is trained to be gothic so that. <laughs> I woke up the next day in my coffin. I walked out of it and put on some black eyeliner, black eyeshadow, blood red lipstick, and black really low cut leather dress that was all ripped up and so you could see my belly. I was wearing a skull belly ring with black and red diamonds inside it. The night before, Draco and I went back to the skull. Get it, skull, because I'm gothic and I like that. Dumbledore chased Voldemort away. We flew there on our brooms. Mine was black and the broom stuff was blood red. There was lace all over it. Draco had a black MCR broom. We went back to our rooms and we had, you know what, to a Linkin Park song. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> well, anyway, I went down to the Great Hall. There, all the walls were planted black and the tables were black. But if you foul see that there was pink pants underneath the black pants, and there were pastors of poser bands everywhere. Like Ashley Simpson and the Backstreet Boys. WTF, I shouted, going to sit next to E. Luddy, Mary, and Willow. E. Luddy was wearing a black leather mini with a good Charlotte t shirt, black fishnets, and black pointy boots. Willow was wearing a longer thick black t shirt. Went black dress with blood red writing that was all lacy and came up to your thighs and black boots and nets. Vampire, Dracula, and Draco came. We all started to talk who was sexier, Mikey or Gerard Way or Billy Joel Armstrong. And the boys joined in because they were by. Those guys are so fucking hot, Mabel was saying. Suddenly a gothic old man with a black beard and everything came. He was the same one who chastened away Voldemort yesterday. He had a normal tan skin, but he was wearing white foundation, and he dyed his hair black. Dumbledore won, we all gasped. <laughs> WTF, I shouted angrily. I thought he was just wearing that to scare <clears throat> full slumlord. Hello, everyone, he said happily. As you can see, I gave the room a makeover. What do you think about it? Everyone from the poser table in Grif Gryphon door, door started to cheer. Well, we got just looked at each other, all defusted and shook our heads. We couldn't believe what a poser he was one. BTW, you called me Albert, he called as we left to our classes. What a fucking poser, Draco shouted angrily as we me to transformation we were holding hands vampire looked really jealous i could see him crying blood in a gothic way get it way like gerard but i didn't say anything i bet he's having a midlife crisis when i shouted i was so fucking angry well then oh okay whose turn is it I billy <clears throat> i believe that it is mine so that was, that was chapter oh, yeah, eighteen. Yeah, right. So now yeah. it's chapter it's Billy's nineteen. Turn. Go, Billy of the Cults. All right, yeah, I got. I go after Doc, right? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> chapter nineteen. Author's note: Please stop flaming the story. If you do, you're a fucking prep, and you're jealous. Okay, one one. From knock, um, I'm going to delt you men revoice. One one one. B T W. Ever did a poor blood? So there. One. Thanks to Raven for the help, one one. <clears throat> <clears throat> All day we sat angrily thinking about Dumbledore. He was so fucking pissed off. Well, I had one thing to look forward to the MCR. It had been postponed, so we could go all go. Anyway, I went to the common room sadly to cut classes 
Draco was being all secretive. I asked what it was, and he got all mad me, and started crying all hot and angsty. One sensitive bad guy, so hot. No one fucking understands me, one, he shouted angrily as his black hair went in his big blue eyes, like Billy Joel in Boulevard of Broken Dreams. He was wearing black baggy pants, a black MCR t-shirt, and a black dye. Get it? Instead of tie, because I'm gothic. I was wearing a black leather low-cut top with chains all over it. All over it, a black leather mini, black high-held boots, and a cross belly thing. My hair was all up in a messy, relly high bun like Amy Lee in Gong Under. Email me if you want to see the pic. Accuse me? What about me? I growled. Bye, bye, but, but, he grunted. Fucking bastard, I moaned. No, wait, it's not what it fucking looks like, he shouted. But it was too late. I knew what I heard. I ran to the bathroom angrily, creeing. Draco banged on the door. I whipped and wept as my body eyeliner streamed down my cheeks and made cool tears down my feces like that in the video for girls and boys. Oh. That is so our video. I took out a cigarette and started to smoke pot. Suddenly, Hargrid came. He had a purated. You gave me a fucking shock, I shouted angrily, dropping my pot. WTF, you think you're doing in that girl's room? Only it wasn't just Hargrid. Someone else was with him, too. For a second, I wanted it to be Tom Ridd or maybe Draco, but... It was Dumbledore. Hey, I need to ask you a question, he said, pulling out his black wannabe gothic purse. What are you wearing to the concert? You know who MCR are, I guess. Oh, I just saw there was a concert that a lot of goths and punks were going to, he said. Anyway, Draco has a surprise for you.